Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to create personalized tickets on RazorPay events booking. So here let's say that I conduct online workshops and I use RazorPay as a payment gateway. Now here my objective is that whenever a customer makes a purchase for my workshop, then I want to create a personalized ticket for the same customer and then send it through the mail. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these applications for which I will be using Pabli Connect where my trigger application will be RazorPay and my action applications will be Google Docs and Gmail. So to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to create personalized tickets on RazorPay event booking. So here let's assume that I conduct online workshops and I use RazorPay as a payment gateway. Here my objective is that whenever a customer makes a purchase of my workshop, then I want to create a personalized ticket and send an email to the customer with the ticket attached. Now this can be done by using an amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here as an existing user, I will sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and you will get 100 tasks for free every month. So here as an existing user, I'm signing in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. And now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I'm naming it as create personalized tickets on RazorPay event booking. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I have created. So here I want to save this workflow in the folder named as RazorPay. So I'm simply going to click on create now. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple actions. So now moving to my use case, that is to create personalized tickets on RazorPay event booking. So here in my trigger window, I'm going to select RazorPay as my trigger application and here it is. I have selected my trigger application. Now moving to the trigger event that will be payment captured. So this trigger will start working whenever the status of payment will be changed to captured. So here I'm selecting it. So once I've selected my trigger application and the trigger event, here a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL will help you to connect your RazorPay account with Pabli Connect. So now I will follow the same process and go to my RazorPay account and here I will go to account and settings and in account and settings I will go to webhooks and in webhooks to create a new webhook I will go to this plus add new webhook button and over here, I need to mention the webhook URL. So from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy the webhook URL and here I'm going to paste it. So once this is done, I need to select the payment events that is payment captured. So here I'm selecting it and now I'm going to click on create webhook. So here you can see that the webhook is saved successfully. Now again, I will go back to Pabli Connect and here you can see that now it is waiting for a webhook response. So that means I need to make a test submission so that the data can be recorded over here. Now here in RazorPay, these are my payment pages. So as these are too many payment pages which I have, so this might create a confusion for which I want to create a ticket or not. So here I'm specifying this that I want to create a ticket only for the customers who will be purchasing this Python for Beginners webinar. So here this is the payment page for Python for Beginners webinar. So here I want to put a condition that only the customers who are purchasing this Python for Beginners webinar, for those customers only a ticket should be created and an email should be sent to that customers with the ticket. So firstly, I will fill in the details and make a test submission. And then in Pabli Connect, I will specify the same condition. So here in this payment details, I'm going to fill in the dummy details. So here I fill in the dummy payment details. And now over here, you can see the first name as latest, last name as purchaser, a dummy email along with a dummy mobile number. And this here is the webinar that is by the name of Python for beginners. And here you can see the price is of 500 rupees per person. 
and the quantity is 2 so the amount to be paid is 1000 so here I'm going to click on pay now once this is done I need to make a test payment so here I'm going to make a payment through a test card now here I'm going to put the dummy card details and I'm adding it here I will put the expiry as 1123 a dummy card holders name along with a dummy CVV and now I'm going to click on pay now here I will click on pay without saving card and now I will mention a dummy OTP to complete the payment and here I will click on submit and the payment was successful so now I will take you back to Papli Connect to show you the response and here you can see that I have received a response here the payment entity status is captured scrolling down here you can see the mobile number last name first name email of the customer here is the payment method and here you can see the price as well so firstly as I've mentioned that I want to put a condition that only the customers who are purchasing this webinar that is python for beginners so I want to create a ticket only for those customers so here to specify that I'm going to click on this add action step and here I'm going to use filter by Pabli. So here it is. So this filter by Pabli will help me to put a condition in this automation. So here in select label, I'm going to mention the label as the name of the webinar. So here I'm searching for the same and here it is. Once this is done, the filter type will be equal to and over here I need to insert the value that means the select label filter type should be equal to this value so here in from the response received I will copy it and I will paste the same over here in the value so now once this is done I'm going to click on save and send test request so here the response is successful so over here you can see the status is success and the messages condition is true that means this automation will only run ahead when the customer will be purchasing this python for beginners webinar now moving ahead with this so over here in the response received if you would have noticed the amount over here is visible to us as rupees 1 lakh but the payment that was made that was for rupees 1000 so why this has happened now we have received these two extra zero in the response because while sending the data of a newly captured payment Razorpay does not support decimal values that is why it has eliminated the decimal and sent us these two zeros as well. Now to eliminate these two zeros I am going to use number formatter by Pabli. So here I am going to scroll down and click on this add action step and here I am going to search for number format and here it is. So number formatter is a feature of Pabli Connect which helps us to change the format of numbers, perform math operations and spreadsheet formulas. So over here in action event, I will be using perform math operation and now I will click on connect. So once this is done over here, I need to enter the number on which the math operation is to be performed. So over here from the response received, I'm going to search for the price. So here is the price and I've mapped it. So now moving to operation that will be to divide. So here as I want to eliminate the two zeros, so I'm going to divide it by 100. Now once this is done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that in the result, I have got the actual amount that was 1000. So now this is done. As I've got the response that the payment was made of rupees 1000. So over here, you can see that the payment was made for rupees 1000. So now as the ticket price was rupees 500. So here to find the quantity, I will perform another math operation so here an add action step I'm again going to search for number formatter here it is and now in the action event I'm again going to choose as perform math operation and I will click on connect so here in numbers I'm going to map the amount that was 1000 and I've mapped it so over here I'm going to divide it by rupees 500 so I will get the quantity so here I'm selecting the operation as divide and now I'm clicking on save and send test request. So here you can see that the result is 2. That means the quantity is 2. So now as I've got all of these details, moving further as I want to create a ticket. So now to do that, I will again click on this add action step. And here I'm going to search for Google Docs. So here it is. 
once i've selected google docs then i will select the action event that will be to create document from template so i'm selecting it and here you can see that i have created a template for the ticket so this is how the template goes as and these are the variables in curly braces which will keep on changing accordingly so over here in pabli connect i'm going to establish a connection between google docs and pabli connect so i will simply click on connect once this is done if you have an existing connection you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection so to add a new connection you just need to sign in with google now i'm going to click on allow as this is a secure access so here you can see that the authorization was successful now you can see that google docs and public connect is successfully connected so over here from the drop down i'm going to select the template document so over here you can see that the template document name is ticket raiser pay so over here in public connect i'm going to select it as ticket raiser pay once this is done i'm going to mention the new document's name so here i want to name the document as the first name of the customer that is latest along with the last name and i'm mapping this from the response received i've mapped it and over here i want to mention it as and over here i want to add ticket along with the document name so now whenever a ticket will be sent the document name will be the name of the customer hyphen ticket so now moving to new documents location the new file will be saved in your google drive directory if your directory is not displayed you can click on the map button and enter the google drive folder by yourself so here i'm going to map it so i'm clicking on this map button i will just remove this now i will take you to my drive and here you can see that i have created this folder in my drive so now here in url this is the id of the folder so i'm copying it going back to public connect and here i'm going to just paste so once this is done i'm going to mention the details of name email event and other details so here i'm going to map it again from the response received so basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step so here i'm mapping the name here is the first name giving a space going to mention the last name i have mapped it moving to email again from the response received i'm going to map the email So over here in event I'm going to mention the webinar name that is python for beginners once this is done now as I've got the quantity as well so over here the quantity is 2 and I've mapped it moving to the price so here as the price was paid 1000 so I'm mapping the same so now I will simply click on save and send test request So here you can see that I have received a response and it is a positive response. That means this template would have been created. So now I will take you to my Google Drive and over here I am going to this file by the name of latest purchaser ticket. I am opening it. And here you can see that in the template you can see the name that is latest purchaser. Here you can see the dummy email. Here you can see the event. Here you can see the quantity along with the price. that means the details which i have mapped is successfully added into a template so this template is successfully created so this template is here in my google drive now as i want to send it in a mail as well so i will go back to pabli connect and over here i'm going to click on this add action step so now here in this action application i'm going to search for google drive as i want to make this document shareable so here i'm going to search for google drive and here it is So here in action event I'm going to select it as share a file with anyone so here I'm selecting it once this is done now I need to establish a connection between Google Drive and Public Connect so here I'm going to click on connect now if you have an existing connection you can go with the same or you can add a new connection you just need to sign in with Google so here I'm going with the existing connection and I will click on save so once this is done I need to mention the file ID So here again I'm going to map it and I'm removing this file ID that is existing over here. So from the response received from Google Docs here I will find the document ID and I'm going to map it. So I've mapped it. Once this is done I'm going to click on save and send test request. And over here you can see that I've got a response and it is a positive response. In the response it says anyone with the link 
So now as this file is accessible by anyone. So here I'm going to click on add action step once again. And now I'm going to select Gmail. And here it is. And in the action event that will be to send email. Now I will click on connect. So here if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or add a new connection by clicking on connect with Gmail. And then I will click on allow as it is a secure access. And the authorization was successful. So Gmail is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. Here I need to mention the recipient email address. So here I'm going to search for the email and I'm going to map it. So now here I need to mention the email subject that will be webinar ticket. So here I'm mentioning it. So this is done. Moving to the email content. So that will be please find attached your ticket. So this is the email content over here. I need to give the file a name. So I want to name the file as by the name of the customer. So here I'm going to map it. Here's the first name. Now I will map the last name as well. And here is the last name. Once this is done again, I will give a space, put a hyphen and mention ticket over here. So once this is done, I framed the file name. So now over here in attachment, I will map the URL. So over here from the Google drives in the response received over here, this is the link which I want to attach that is by slash PDF. So here as I want to send a PDF, I've mentioned it in the attachment. So as I've mapped all of these details, this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with a new data, so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that, we map the information. So as all the details are mapped, so here I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I've received a response and it is a positive response. So over here you can see the result status is sent. That means an email would have sent to the customer. So here you can see that the ticket has been sent successfully through mail. So this automation and integration was a successful one. Now whenever a payment will be captured in Razor Pay, then by using the filter, only the selected webinar tickets will be created. So over here through number formatter, the decimals will be formatted and then a document will be created through Google Docs and that will be shareable with anyone and then it will be sent across an email. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at and if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.